In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Superbox. In my example, I'm using the Superbox S7 Max, but the instructions I'm gonna show you apply to any Superbox. This video will be divided into three sections. The first one, how to connect your Superbox physically. The second one, how to perform the initial setup. And the third one, I'm gonna show you an important tips to implement post installation and also where to find the applications of the super box. So let me first start by showing you how to connect it physically. The first connection you need to make is connecting the HDMI output of the super box to an HDMI cable and connect the other end of the HDMI cable to the HDMI input of your TV. The second connection is the power of the super box. The S7 series super boxes need DC power that is from the USB-C. If you have another type of super box, you may have another type of connection. So connect the power here. These are the two required connections that the super box need. Now an optional connection will be connecting the ethernet port of your super box to a wired network connection on your home network. If you want that, you connect it here. In our case, I'm gonna connect it to Wi-Fi and I'm gonna show you how to do this. Now the next step, of course, is to power the super box. So you need to plug the power adapter in any power output in your house and the super box will start automatically. And of course, you need to put AAA batteries in the remote control of the super box. So here I've already put AAA batteries. So now that the super box is starting, let's go and set it up for the first time. When you turn on the super box, it's gonna display some animation. Wait for it to start completely. The first step in the setup process is to read this disclaimer and then agree to it. So select agree with your remote control. The second step, your super box will go and detect all the Wi-Fi networks. So here you need to select your Wi-Fi network and connect to it. And this is if you didn't connect your super box with a wired ethernet connection. So here I'm gonna select my Wi-Fi network with the remote control. And then I'm gonna put the password and connect to it. Once the Wi-Fi network is connected, you need to select next with your remote control. And here you need to adjust the screen size. By default, it is on 96% and notice the borders, they are black. So the screen isn't taking the whole screen. So you need to put the screen to 100%. And to do this, you need to use the arrow keys on your remote control. So go with the up arrow key until you get 100% and then select finish with the remote control. So now the initial setup of the super box finished, but we need still to get some post installation setup, and then we need to install the applications of the super box. Let's start with the post installation setup steps. So go to the setup icon that is on the bottom left corner of your screen, and on the right, you have the setup screen. The first thing you need to do is to go to set up your device name with the remote control always. And then we need to select the name of the super box. So here I'm gonna select super box S7 Max. This is the default name. And this is important in case you're using a media server on your super box. The second thing we need to do is we need to go to device preferences. And under device preferences, we need to select display and sound. And here we need to adjust display settings so to get the best display from the super box. So go to advanced display settings select HDMI output mode and then make sure that auto is selected otherwise the super box will not display the maximum output that it can display depending on your screen so let's go back and back again and back again and let's go now to date and time and we need to make sure that our time zone is correct and this is important for the electronic program guide or EPG so select here set time zone so here I'm going to select my own time zone, which is Eastern time. And here it is selected. So let's go back. And the last setting we need to do is to connect the remote control via Bluetooth to the super box. Let me increase the screen here so that you can see how I'm going to put the remote control into pairing mode. So to put the remote into pairing mode, you need to press the OK button and the return button on the remote control simultaneously until the LED light on top flashes red so now it is in pairing mode and now point it to the super box and you need to go back in the menu here and you need to select bluetooth and then select pair new device and here you should find the rc200 so select rc200 
and now the remote control is paired with Bluetooth to the super box. So now without pointing it to the super box, it's gonna work. I'm gonna press the back button and you're gonna see that it's gonna work without pointing it. By the way, if you wanna get a super box at a discount, you can use my coupon code that has a big discount and it is in the description and in the comments. If you make a purchase using my coupon code, I'm gonna gain a small percentage, but this is at no cost to you and you'll get a big discount. So now let me show you where to find the proprietary applications of the super box. So go here under App Store and you see that you have the Google Play Store and you have the App Store of the Superbox and here install the applications you want from either store. If you found my video useful, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Stuff Around the House. See you in the next video.